Well, hello. Uh, welcome to uh, day 4,612 of our daily devotions, um, or something like that. I'm not sure what day it is anymore. Um, last week, I was sat at our front desk um, at our Woodbury Avenue food bank. Um, and by front desk, I mean one of those pop-up tables in the foyer. It's very glamorous. Um, we had this guy come in um, who seemed to have a pretty bleak situation. Uh, he's currently living in a single room of a small hotel in town. Um, So as we packed his food bank parcel in the back room, um, we had to find food that you could cook in a microwave. Um, That's all he had to cook food with. Um, And I don't know if you've ever tried that, but it's not as easy as it sounds. Um, So I took the parcel out and plonked it on the table and then stepped back so he could pack it. And um, I kind of apologizing for how little it felt we were able to do for him. And um, he looked up from his parcel um, and he smiled. He said, don't worry, it's not forever. And um, it turned out that he's waiting to start a job as a manager in a hotel um, over in Paul, quite a posh hotel. Um, So he's got that to look forward to. He knows it's certain. It's been confirmed with him that that's definitely happening. And so he knows that he's just waiting it out. It looked pretty, pretty bleak for him, but his smile was real. He's got real hope to look forward to. Um, and it's easy to feel like our situation is pretty bleak, isn't it? If we look in on the immediate, um, or you sit and watch the news 24-7, um, there are plenty of reasons to feel bleak, aren't there? But I want to challenge that and ask you to listen to 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you. So praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the surface of it, we might feel bleak. But the reality is that if you're a Christian, you've been given new birth into a living hope. Because Jesus has been raised from the dead. So lift your eyes from the bleak darkness of your own self, um, your own mind, and move to the window where the light is. Look out over what God did in your life, how he saved you. Think back to that moment, if you can, if you've got one, where he gave you new birth. Look at the way your life has changed since then. Um, Look at all the ways he's held you. He's kept you living in him since then. Um, And Peter takes our view even back, even further, back to the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus rose from the dead to give us living hope. He is our living hope. And then look forward. Verse 4 calls us to look forward into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. My man at the food bank knew that that job offer he had was certain. It wasn't going anywhere. No matter what happened to him now, that was there. Christian, know that your future is even more secure than that. And it's even more secure than my Amazon delivery that gets left on the wrong doorstep in the rain. Your inheritance will never perish, spoil or fade. No one can take it from you. No one can give it to the wrong person. It's for you. Kept in heaven for you. Our brother and friend John Parkin is enjoying his inheritance right now. He had this living hope because Christ died and rose again. And he's feeling that heaven is real for sure. I'm sure his smile is very real now. And that means our smile can be real too. Our hope is alive in Jesus. If you're not sure, go back and read this verse and reread it and reread it. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have new birth into a living hope because Jesus rose from the dead. And that means 
our inheritance can never perish, spoil or fade. And as you go on through that chapter, it means that we can face these trials with joy. We can smile through these things that are affecting the whole world. It's not just you, you're not alone. You can face these things with hope and with a smile of joy. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, that you have given us new birth into a living hope through Jesus. Through his resurrection, help us to trust you. Help us to look forward to our eternity with you and to look back over what you have done and to see your faithfulness to us. Lord, I pray that you'd make our smiles real today as a church. Make our joy in you real. And I pray that joy would be really contagious too. That those people we are self-isolating with, those people we speak to, those neighbours we speak to on the doorsteps, um, wherever we are today, that our joy would be contagious and that people might know something of you through, through us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.